you listen to us. I'm supposed to do jokes tonight, but there's eight people. But this is what you want to see, right? You don't want to see me polish everything up. I, I killed all weekend in stand up New York. There, you know I'm for money now. <laughs> Says, hey, you should be slapping me the fuck around. You know, you should be pissing on me, man. You ever realize that I'm crazy? Yes. I'm fun. No, let me tell you something. Everybody I know in a cubicle is on Xanax. I'm on fucking medication. Oh. <laughs> Everybody I know on a cubicle is on Xanax. I'm fucking crazy. I can't hide it. But then I'm finding out the rest of you are crazy too. You just hide it. I know, because I worked with a comedy company, and I said, I hate these sketches, I'm having a breakdown, and everybody in the cubicle went, I have an Ativan, I have an Ambien, I have a Xanax. Now, like a guy like you probably did say, like, everything's good, I ran all my errands, I did A to B to C, D took care of itself, and everything's fine. But when no one's looking, you're probably all alone going, I, I don't know, I don't know what the answer is. This buzz, this buzz, this buzz, this buzz. I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm losing my mind. Hey, what is this? Everything having to do with money all the fucking time. Co Comedy Net fucking fired me. And, and here's something else. Comics are doing rants. You know that, right? Just, to, just say yes or no, anybody. Yeah. 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 Right, they do rants. Ten years ago, they used to tell me, we can't let you in our club, you do rants. You guys start cute, you start off cute, you're like, mm, here I go, yummers, lollipop, gummy, gummy bears, gummy bears, choo choo, yummers, here, here I go, here I go. You know, and then rants became a big deal, because of me. And then you always turn into like a, <laughs> then you turn into like a gay, angry father, marine sergeant, carnivore, flesh-tearing vulture, Samuel L. Jackson, to descending upon the flesh. Like, mm, here I go, gum drops, gummy, gummy, gum, cute, cute, here I can't go. Ha, 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 I will rip it off. I will rip that fucker. Ha, ha, ha. I love you now. Stewart sheets for a year and a half. Oh, you're gonna become vegetarian. Oh, you're gonna buy. You're going to Target to buy pink coffee makers. Oh. And now comics do rants. No way! Shut up. <laughs> now, now, now comics are doing rants, and they call it rants, but they have no thoughts. So what they're ranting about is like, wouldn't it be weird if a Smurf? Was it Starbucks and vomited? <laughs> That's weird. That's weird thinking on my part. I must have gone to college. I have a degree in rants. <laughs> Shut up. Like they don't know what they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. If you're afraid to live in this world with your own individual thoughts, you don't rant. You buy coffee and put it and make sure it's lukewarm. That's what you do. That's your job. And you hand it to your buddy, then you get another one for your other buddy. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I ain't angry about my dick, I ain't angry about my ass, I ain't angry about my pussy, you know? I'm angry that there's no place to go anymore in this country, there's a fucking climate, you, you know? Like, some people try to be like me on stage, so they go, you know, a guy looked at me today, what's with men looking at me? You, you, you know what I mean? Like, we should be screaming at each other on the fucking street, what the fuck is going on? But, here, hey, look, it used to be with the, the comedy, you, you do heroin and coke. You knock over shit. You yell about everything. Like Pryor or Belushi. Now you take Xanax and go... I'm on more drugs now than when I was on drugs. <laughs> I started to understand you can write about simple observations that everyone will get. Who's talking? Don't you need to go get high? No. What, did you come here to make friends? Then why are you talking? I knew, I knew when I met you that I should have ignored you. I knew, but I didn't listen to myself. Because there's times a man wants to meet people, but times a man feels so lonely. Times a man walks around alone, no 
alone is right to be alone. Then there's times a man says instead of talking to you, I ought to just be alone with my own thoughts. Then there's times a man's going to interrupt you with thoughts that don't have no thoughts, that sound like thoughts, that are encased in words that look like thoughts, but they ain't thoughts at all. But you can never convince that man that he ain't thinking, that he's just too drunk. But then he'll argue back saying, what, it's too drunk, like it's a real argument, and it ain't even a question. And you'll sit there saying, well, what's too drunk? Now I'm involved, and i got to answer that. And then you realize I don't have to answer nothing. I said, you can't ride a butterfly. He goes, that's right. You can't ride a butterfly. He won't let you. So he reached into the glove compartment. And this part's true. This is exactly true. He reached in and he pulled out another butterfly. And, and he goes, butterflies will not let you ride them alone. They will only want us to do things together. So I will ride my butterfly and you will ride yours. I said, what are you talking about? And it's true. He sat on his butterfly and it didn't kill the butterfly. I said, and Butterfly was still alive and moving his way there. I said, alright, I'll sit down on mine. And when I sit down on mine, the, the cab di disappeared. Wow, oh, man, it's like the morning train. We're calling the train. And nobody was saying they had the answer. Nobody had the rules. People were saying what they wanted. And scorpions flew out of the glove compartment whipping their tails, saying, Ride the butterfly. You're the scorpion. Ride the butterfly. You're the scorpion. And everybody riding the butterfly. And everyone was just looking at each other and not feeling religion or ideology or theology. Just looking, not feeling who's right and who's wrong. Just staring at each other, just looking right at each other's fucking eyes.